सभी जनालाई नमस्कार फिर भी नहीं आमी उपस्थित बैचे के कासों आज आपको यो ब्रिज कोर्स को उन्नाइस हों दिन में तो संपूर्ण प्यारा विद्यार्थी बाय बनो लाई मैथमेटिक्स रिसर्च एंड इनोवेशन सेंटर इन कोलैबोरेशन विद द सेलिब्रेशन पॉइंट कॉलेज बार ना यो ऑनलाइन तो था फ्री ब्रिज कोर्स सेशन में पालों ने संपूर्ण विद्यार्थी बाय बनो लाई मौस स्वागत कर दे आज आपको इस कार्यक्रम लाई आगाडी बढ़ाई दिनी को लागी मौस कार्यक्रम का फैसिलिटर आज आपको फर्स्ट पीरियड का फैसिलिटर रोमेस माइनली सार लाई कार्यक्रम आगाडी Please, sir, the floor is yours. Thank you. One fine episode uh, with fine group of people. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Welcome back again into the 19th episodes of ongoing uh, bridge course session. Um, I haven't been part of all those episodes, though. We have been meeting back and forth on and off. Um, maybe this is the third one. And very nice to see you. Uh, you know, even, even in the interval of a couple of days, we are back again. Allow me to share the screen. But before we do that, um, thank you very much, Prajol. I'm very, very good. And uh, I, I shall be sort of um, not free enough to take each chat right now. Um, but I'm grateful to that concern of yours. Before I share the screen, uh, allow me to send you a link for Peer Deck. I'm having session today with Peer Deck where you might be asked to write some of the answers Mm, then and there. I'm giving you the link, uh, everyone. Please kindly get yourself into the chat box. The link is available there. I'm sharing peer deck link. Please click on the link there. And I can see a lot of students uh, from Celebration itself. I'm very glad to have you, dear people. Welcome. There is a link of the peer deck. Uh, maybe it did not go to all. OK. I'm resending it again. Please find the link. Now it should be available. Click onto that link. All right. I want all of you uh, to get connected there. Uh, Master Prajol, I, I don't think code is expected that is a link you just can click onto it and get connected uh, prajol does it require uh, you to input the code what does it say i don't think it should require n plus students already into the portal i wanted all of you to come into it please I'm sending it again, if there are some missing it.
Okay. So there is the code uh, Prajol. You've been asking that repeatedly. Mm, get it there. That is a code. Please input that code into the box required. Right. So we are 84 so far and uh, okay Prajol, I, I noted that. I, I noted it, <clears throat> class, but I only have uh, 48 people uh, into peer deck. Please use the link and come to it. Uh, let's begin. Uh, once you are all into this portal, I shall be starting the class. Okay, somebody is still asking for the link. It's there you go for the link. Okay. A lot of link come again, a lot of link. Well, uh, the progress uh, for the admission is very, very sluggish. Um, we only have 57, roughly 57 participants um, trying to come into it. I wonder if uh, uh, there was any problem on your part coming into it. Okay, I'm presenting my screen. Uh, if this is visible, please let me know it. Kindly inform me if this is visible. Come sir, any support you need? Uh, is it visible? Yeah, it is already visible. And is it visible, please? Yeah, 56 students have already gone, sir. Indeed, but I wanted the number to increase and um, I wanted a maximum of presentation uh, participants there. Okay, the class. All right. Making it full screen. I mean, this chapter and for one of our presentation next day, uh, I wish to teach you a free writing, paragraph writing most probably. So I think a lot more to go ahead. I'm sorry, I had not, not even kept it ready. Yeah, the journey. And I hope this is very, very explicitly visible to you. Sagar, so do you give me a comment if this is visible really? Sir, it is visible, sir. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, let's carry on. Today, there are some questions you'll have to write uh, in Peer Deck. This will be more interactive, I guess. Uh, we are on to the day, day third, and the content that we have for today is imperative and passive, uh, meaning 
how to change an imperative sentence into a passive construction. This is a learning for today. Okay, imperative and passive. Now uh, we got to move ahead. Uh, can you say something about an imperative sentence? I have a question there. Can you say something about an imperative sentence? Like, what's your understanding of it? What sort of sentence do you term um, to be an imperative sentence? Do not keep it so longer. Uh, give me your brief uh, answer to that question. Um, it, it asks you to write down your understanding of what makes a sentence an imperative one. Please drop me your response. Like I only have 15 of the responses coming in. So do not just wait for the easy answers to answer, okay? It's always good to make some attempts of the question asked, right? I would like to see the responses coming in and okay. Uh, one per, uh, there's no name, but he or she answers. One thing I know for sure about imperative, and this is a question that that doesn't doesn't really make sense. Imperative sentence means command sentence starts with verb one. This is it. Another beautiful answer I have on my screen. Thank you. There's no name, by the way. It starts with a main verb. Beautiful. Sentence which starts with the main verb. Okay. The same. Same. Giving orders to others. Right. And start with a verb or let's. Example, come here. Okay. Here's a brilliant answer. And command request. It starts with verb one and it express, expresses commands. Beautiful. Wow. Okay. Uh, all the way down. All the way down. Um, any sentence that issues a command to do something um, or not to do something, that becomes an imperative sentence comes from Asis Sarma. And thank you, Asis. That's well, um, well done. When it is normally spoken as a question, it is known as imperative. And this is not the way, uh, maybe one fine answer here, but uh, this requires some diagnosis. Uh, anyway, a um, lot of better answers, I would say. A lot of better answers. Thank you very much, everybody, uh, for making it real. Thanks a lot. I'm hiding the response. Um, one common thing that I have had amongst all the answers is that if that thing should be an imperative, then that should have a sense of command, sense of sort of uh, request, sense of order, sense of prohibition, sense of advice and suggestions. If the sentence should have that sense, that should be an imperative sentence, but this is not all, right? We also can impart this sense in other structures also. Therefore, many people have noticed it. I'm very glad they marked it so well. It should begin from verb, right? So sense-wise, this has to express the sense of command, prohibition, advice, order, request, there's no doubt. But structurally, structurally, Syntax-wise, it has to start from the main verb. And some of you went extra large saying, it has to begin from verb one. And some added, not only that, there should be let's as well. Beautiful, really beautiful answers. Let's have a look what makes an imperative sentence to our next slides. We have imperative and passive, like bring that man, bring me that man, some in order, right? So it's an order, please sit down. That's an imperative sentence, it's a request. 
let's dance kind of you know uh, let's do it kind of suggestions that's an imperative sentence take enough rest that's it another imperative sentence but you might have noticed one thing in all these sentences check the structures do not check the sense sense you know everybody knows the sense the sense is always of command right you got to do that and the sense is always of order right my words are the lord's sense is always of advice and suggestions you better know the sense but please check the structures check the syntax of each of the sentence one thing you will come across to conclude the sentences majorly start from verb one check take check right take that's verb one sit that's verb one bring that's verb one and now this can be concluded this can be generalized imperative has to begin from the verb one but not limited to that it should begin from verb one hundred percent but it shouldn't be limited to verb one alone then what more to look at it can begin from let's it can begin from please it's important here is, here is something simple but beautiful thing uh, we have come to learn i repeat that no imperative sentence begins from verb one but is not limited to that first learning is that now our second learning can begin from this please from please okay and one more thing it's it's missing here which we can discuss into our next slides at least i hope some of you got a um head to start you broke the ice for for the concept that imperative should not always begin from verb one that's one possibility of it and yeah, now there are other possibilities of it what are those possibilities check how does an imperative sentence begin how does it do and here are beautiful options out there there are four absolute ways they begin and i'm very sure your grammar teacher into the class should have said this thing over and over again over and over because um one you know one episode of telling doesn't suffice to the students because some of them even don't pay attention uh, enough to the concept some of them pay attention but do not grab some of you you will pay your attention but tend to forget in no time this requires telling again and again please remember imperative sentence has these four absolute beginnings absolute beginnings one is the verb one it begins from verb one and there can be infinite numbers of examples like write fast right come to me speak to me watch out right go away don't go away right stay on sit with me oh my gosh you just get it there can be infinite numbers of examples of this but one thing to conclude imperative sentence begins from verb one another is let and let is uh, it another possibility of imperative to begin imperatives another way to understand we call that sentence imperative which begins from late remember it right sentence beginning from late itself redeems the name an imperative sentence let me ride fast let me go away let me drive your car let me watch out your phone all right let me speak first or there can be 
any numbers of beautiful examples. Okay, two possibilities. One is we worn, another is late. Come to the third, that is let's. You know let's? Let's is when um, it is like the speaker himself or herself is included. If I say, let's go, then I go myself along with you. If I say, let us go, then there is somebody who has to command me to go, and then I can go. But the person commanding me, person um, giving a command that I can go, doesn't go with me. That's the only difference. People sometimes get confused with let's and late us. They think they are, that is same and that never is same, never. I repeat, let's is when the speaker is included in the action, okay? Let us is no. That is somebody, it's, it's like let, same. Let us means beginning from let. There is an authority, there is authority and that authority has to command the action. But when you say let's, you are the authority, right? The group itself is authority. A speaker itself is authority. Let's go and then everybody goes. Let's stop, everybody stops, right? Let's have some dance and everybody dances. If you ask, let us dance, that person who lets you dance doesn't dance. That's the difference. So uh, let's is a third possibility of imperative sentence. Pretty easy, right? You have had this a lot of times in grade 10. Okay, bear with me anyway. And another, the last possibility of uh, imperative to begin is please or kindly. Sentence beginning from please or kindly, okay? Becomes an imperative sentence, right? And this is the sentence that you have spoken, uh, I think the highest of numbers in communication. Highest of number. Please, 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 you don't know anything. You, you haven't said a single accent, right? Uh, if you say the first accent, after that, you really don't need uh, the accent to be repeated. Please alone works there. And the person seems to be not giving you at all. And you say, please. Now, you know the accents and you, I can say, please, please. Ah, there's too much please. So the sentence beginning from please or kindly becomes an imperative sentence. But remember, sentence beginning with please has the sense of request, cordial request. The sentence beginning from kindly also has the sense of request. The sentence with please or kindly is not so, so rude sentence, not so rude, okay? They are soft. They are polite and they are uh, request laden. There's request into it, okay? Um, see, this slide is entirely on um, sort of introductory slide on imperative sentence. We are not yet starting how to make passive. But I, I'll tell you one thing. If you know these four beginnings, you're already a better student for passive. Already a better student. Now, before I change the slide, I say imperative begins from verb one, let, let's, and please or kindly. Right, let's go. Check this, active imperative and passive imperative. We are beginning from how to change uh, these two first. And I think there is a question that is coming up. You will have to answer me that question, okay? See, active imperative. I starting from verb one. Compose a po compose a song. Here's a question. Compose a song. And now, now begins the passive imperative. How to make passive of the sentence that starts from verb one? That is a learning into this slide, okay? A verb one bata suruvaiko active sentence like passive ma kasari change garne. This is the learning. And we have example here, compose a song. Now, check up. Here is verb one beginning and the structure says, 
भर्ब वन बट शुरू भाई को सेंटेंस लाई पैसिव बनाओ दा लेट बात शुरू करनु पर सा लेट बात शुरू करनु पर सा एंड यू शुड बी एबल टू फाइंड आउट द ऑब्जेक्ट इन दिस सेंटेंस योर सेंटेंस पर ऑब्जेक्ट था लाट ओली पनी चिंजा वी वस वर्ब इज कंपोज वर्ब बंदा पचाड़ी व्हाट कम्स इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट वेरी सिंपल अ सॉन्ग इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट स्ट्रक्चर के रहा सा V1 बाटा शुरू भायो बने लेट बाटा पैसिव शुरू करने फर्स्टली वी राइट लेट एंड देन अदर रूल्स आर एज यूजुअल एज यूजुअल बने को क्यों ऑब्जेक्ट बिकम्स सब्जेक्ट एंड वी हैव टू यूज बी वर्ब एंड चेंज इट इनटू वर्ब थ्री ओके नाउ लेट्स ट्राई दिस कंपोज अ सॉन्ग वी बिगिन फ्रॉम लेट लेट इज हियर we bring the object object is a song and we use the be verb be verb is not changed in this case in the imperative sentence be verb at least in the first case is not changed be remains be itself and now we can change the verb one into verb three it becomes composed so the passive is let a song be composed now it can be there can be a several example that can be made like write a song let a song be written read a text let a text be read read right and many more break the window let the window be broken something like that we finished off one okay now come into another how to change uh into passive of the sentence that begins from late. अब लेट बात शुरू भाई को जिन का सरी पैसिव बनाऊं ने बी वन बात शुरू भाई को लाई लेट बात शुरू करने and if the sentence begins from late how to make it passive we begin from late itself इसमें यार नोज़ आई लेट बात शुरू भाई को इम्परेटिव सेंटेंस को पैसिव बनी लेट बात नहीं शुरू करें इसे and remaining things are as usual अब as usual बने को कि हो ऑब्जेक्ट बिकम्स सब्जेक्ट सब्जेक्ट बिकम्स ऑब्जेक्ट एंड वर्ब शुड बी चेंज इनटू बी प्लस वर्ब थ्री एंड हेयर इज़ द स्ट्रक्चर अ चेक द क्वेश्चन लेट हिम कंपोज़ अ सॉन्ग द सेम क्वेश्चन वी आर ब्रिंगिंग इनटू दिस स्ट्रक्चर लेट हिम कंपोज़ अ सॉन्ग नाउ बिगिनिंग लेट बिकम्स लेट इटसेल्फ and bring the object. Here, here are two objects. Do you notice this? Let him, him is one object and a song is another object. Compose, what compose is a song. Let's bring the direct object here. Okay, let's bring this object. The object after the verb, let, let's bring it. So let a song, I think you understood that, object to let a song. And be verb is be itself. We did not change that. And after the be verb, we change the verb, main verb into verb three. Let a song be composed by the first object, sub, sorry, object comes after by here. This is the object itself, not the subject. Let a song be composed by him. Dear people, in the next slide, I have a question for you. Okay, there's one question for you please kindly uh, write the response. And if possible, please do write your name as well in the answer. Do not make a hast of it. There is nowhere to reach. You attempt it well and write down your name as well, just below the line. There we go. Don't break the law. Please change that into a passive construction. Don't break the law. This is a question for you. And it's pretty, I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, sort of, um, you know, distressed today because my slides are not uh, functioning into the animation mode. Uh, I wasn't very aware that in the beer deck, the animation doesn't work. I just learned it today. And each, each lines were animated and what comes up here is the wholesome pack to the screen. And that's pretty dumb, you know? 
um, one thing to learn, I, I'll just learn this thing that uh, it doesn't work into a peer deck. La, suppose I'll try again, say, reply again. Don't make it a hast business. Um, write down your name at the end, of course, like Asis had done in previous question. I remember that. Okay, um, I'm excited to jump into the answer sections. Dear people, you keep on responding, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll take answers from the top. Um, okay, Rina writes, let the law not be broken. And as Christy writes the same, Jyoti writes, the law must not be broken. Mm -hmm. uh, Jyoti and Shristi, Ajati, I really, really respect this answer because when there are obligations, we can use must and should also. If somebody has written here, the law should not be broken. I really appreciate that. But do I mean, do I mean that Srishti's answer is wrong? No way. Srishti and Rina's answer, absolutely correct. Let the law not be broken. Okay. Um, and Jyoti is at another and here is let the law not be broken this is from anjita and here is asis let the law should now asis sharma has got this wrong um asis you cannot use they should not be broken let the law should not be broken and here is karina let the law not be broken you are requested uh, not to break the law Okay, Prajol, sense is fantastic. Sense is pretty fantastic, but that's not how we do it. Okay, I'll come back to Jyoti's answer also later on after uh, Prajol. Uh, let the law not be broken. The law should not be broken by you. Okay, yet another by you, Garnu Pardaina Imperative Ma. There's no name. Thank you for that. Let the law not be broken. Let the law not be broken. Okay, Hena Karki and let the law, uh, let the law don't be broken. Uh, this is a little. Error there, uh, Hina, right only not be broken. Now, other answers are very great. Yes, a very talented group here. Uh, not be broken only is, okay. Uh, Siva, you're getting wrong, you're getting wrong there. Don't let the law be broken. Interesting try, thank you for that try, but it's not correct. The law must not be broken. I'll address this answer, there is this answer also. Um, uh, let the okay, I'm coming back to the main question again. Now, the main question is, don't break the law. This is an obligation. Everybody should follow the law. There is a sense of obligations like respect the parents, help the poor. Okay, well, we cannot just help. Uh, it's okay not to not to follow the law as well, but we have to bear some cost. We, we, are, we are under certain obligations. Two sins, answer Should not must not let should Just the Let the law should not be broken. Well tried, everybody. A commendable job. Thank you very much for trying up. Good. Question comes to the next slide. Orko slide, my Orko question, sir. And this question we haven't discussed in the slide before, but I, I gave this question only to check whether some of you are quite good under this. Please get that question, answer it to me, and we'll see it and go to the next slides. Here we go. Uh, next question. Please attempt it. Pretty easy question, though. Well, let's do it. Please answer this question. Check the question uh, before you begin. It's not late. It's not V1. It's beginning from let's do it. And please write your answer there. And like before, this is imperative to you to mention your name so that I, I just can mark it well. Keep writing. Let's do it. 
I hope all of you will get it correct. That's my expectation. I have some doubt on this question. I, I really have some doubt. My doubt says most of you will try, you know, most of you will try and only few will get it correct. Okay, let's check after some time. A few more seconds to go. Few more seconds. Keep trying, everybody. Keep trying. Let's do it. Now it's time. Let's do it. I'm showing the response. Uh, we have a oh, wonderful response already uh, 34 and more. Srishti writes, let it be done. Thank you for a well trying, Srishti. I'll not give you the uh, answer right now. It should be done. It should be done by you. Mm -hmm. Let it be done. That's from Asta, I guess. Let it be done by us. Okay. Shall we? Comes from. <laughs> okay, David, you're very interesting. We're not doing a tag question, by the way. We shifted the focus into tag. We're not doing tag uh, here. Let it be done. Uh, let it be done. Let shall not do this. Uh, it must be done. <laughs> okay, let it be done. It comes from Bishal and Anjita Shrestha. Right, let it be done. Mm -hmm. Let it be done from Priyanka. Okay, now I will um, scroll it down. I'll scroll the uh, scroll down all the answers, and will only speak if the answer is correct, so you can understand. So you can understand. I I shall speak only when the answer is correct. Not so far a single correct answer. <laughs> okay. Wow, I thought some of the um, some of you would do it uh, uh, correctly. That was my expectations, and it did not really meet my expectation. I'm a little sad. I'm a little sad, and I now know where to focus. Thank you for that answers, everyone. And uh, just because your answer got wrong, don't get nervous. And do not just delete the answers. Let it be there. Okay, let it be there. That's you. When you progress, you should be proud looking at that. See, I was there and I'm here. Right? So let those wrong answers be there. Let's improve on it. Let's do it. I'm changing the slide and focusing on this answer. Now, our another slide will highly focus on this. And I'll tell you, if there should be uh, any question uh, for your entrance exam from imperative segment of the voice, then this is one of the most probable question, I would say. Okay, dear people, I repeat that for you. If there should be any important question from imperative and passive, then take care of this. Let's do it. I'm changing the slide and let's have a look. Please focus on this, okay? I'll begin from two more uh, possibilities are there. I'm going to Suruma discuss Karyo. Imperative sentence begins from in four ways. One was V1, another was late, another was please, another was let's. So what do we please? Let's first deal that and then we come into let's. Starting from please, okay? The sentence starting from the please is your cup of tea. The seed cake hauma. You are requested to banera replace karne. See, I repeat, if there is an imperative sentence beginning from please, what you do is replace the word please with you are requested to. Our two pati v1 now that's a basic knowledge. It's a very, very basic knowledge. Okay. Simple, we replace please with you are requested to and we write V1. Now, here's, an, here's a question. Please compose a song. Vanivasi, you please lie hamili. Kele replace karne. You are requested to. 
अब टू पीछे भर्ब वन भर्ब कहाँ सा हेयर इज द वर्ब कॉपी ऑल कंपोज अ सॉन्ग दैट्स अ वंडरफुल पैसिव सो इट इज सो इजी एंड दिस विल नेवर बी आस्क्ड आई एम श्योर ओके यू नीड देम बिकॉज दैट्स द कंटेंट टू प्रिपेयर बट देन इन अ कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम दिस इज नॉट सो इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज व्हाट इट हैज टू कंफ्यूज द माइंड इट हैज नथिंग एट ऑल राइट uh we what you do is we replace the please with you are requested to and copy rest of the sentence understand sabai sarne ra cha ni please ko thau ma cha yo structure lekhne baki sabai sarne and that is so easy right but take care of this now come to the second one very very important dear people it's a very important question in fact let's go jai very important sir here is example let's compose a song and uh, If you are with your notes, uh, I highly recommend you to note down this structure. Uh, if you know it already, if you suddenly got uh, you know sparked, you got a spark in the mind. Oh, that was it. Um, our teacher taught it back in classes. How come I forget it? Poor me. If you have said like that, it's all right. But if you still do not know, if you didn't know that, please note this down in your notebook. Okay. अब हेन हाई तेट्स सुरू भाई सेंटेन्स कसरी पैसिव बनाने वाने वी हेव टू पॉसिबिलिटीज अफ इट नंबर वन इज इट इज सजेस्टेड दैट वी शुड इट माइट बी लिटल लंगर बट एज यू गेट अकस्टम टू दैट इट फील्स वेरी इजी लेट्स को ठाव में इट्स सजेस्टेड दैट वी शुड वो जिस हमें प्लिज को ठाव में यू आर रिक्वेस्टेड टू लेखे थे अब लेट्स को ठाव में इट इज सजेस्टेड दैट वी सुड कर समझि पर्यो अड प्लस वर वन इट्स अ बेसिक सेंस अब आई सुड गो नई सुड वेन्ट कस अब उसके आप अंग्रेजी धरम वर्कसप में लगे बना उसको इंग्लिश मिस्त्री चाहिए आई सुड गो आई सुड वेन्ट हो Should plus verb one. It's a basic uh, language sense. Okay, you pray over me. You on Saturday pray over me. Why? 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 Let's compose a song for passive. It is suggested that we should compose a song. Understood? It is suggested that we should. Should song ya verb one kina leke ko. क्वेश्चन में जो भर्ब सो हेर इज कंपोज एंड हेर इज कंपोज इट इज सजेस्टेड दैट वी सुड कंपोज अ सॉन्ग नाउ वी हैव अनादर अप्सन तब सेकेंड अप्सन इजी लगे ट्राई कर नजाने अब छूट छाइन हई नाउ यू आर यू नो अप्रोचिंग द इलेवेन्थ ग्रेड एंड यू हेव नो एक्सक्यूज नट टू नो दिस दुईट जान् पर्च नाउ द एनोदर पोसिबिलिटी अफ लेट्स इज We are suggested. Got it? Let's check on us. Hey, we are suggested and straight for four. Remember it. We are suggested and straight for four. For four, what is it? Question ma so they go main verb lai verb four ma change karne. Now you isko answer kosto unsa? Let's compose a song according to second structure. We are suggested composing a song. Very, very easy, in fact, right? We are suggested composing a song. Is there a try going on, sir? And Ernest, I mean, imperative like, a solid way to get it. Okay. Now, what should I say? Imperative. What is the way to get it? Start with one. Be confident and say there are four ways. Confidently say that. The one, let, let's, and please, and. Each of them, we tried how we can change into passive construction. Uh, keep trying. Here, press can you come? Hey, now I'm changing the slide. Uh, interrogative and passive. Now, but these are very important uh, elements for your entrance exam from the passive. Okay. Um, How to change a question into active question into passive question? This is it. Interrogative has another name that is question. It is another name for question, right? 
So the learning here is how to change an interrogative sentence into passive. Please follow with me. Um, I have few clues here for all of you. Some of you might be too good, right? Uh, much better. But if you are finding question like saying uh, passive banana so difficult, this can be a big, big bonus to you. This lesson can be a big bonus to you. Just follow with me, okay? So give me a break. I have a call here. I'm sorry for a momentary interruption. Uh, it was important call to pick. Um, back to the slide again. Makhi bande thi bani. Tapen lai interrogative sentence lai passive banana na theere garo lakh bani. Ajab badi dhyan diya is lai arno sahi ta. And I have questions at the end. Only to <coughs> sorry consolidate the learning. I have questions at the end. Let's focus for now with the clue. Question like, eh? mark the type. To so the question, yes, no question, okay, WH question, over and You might be asking, uh, sir, how may we know that? Right? Is there any way to know yes, no question and WH question? This is again a childish question, in fact. A childish question, or you? Yes, no question, because Yes, no question begins from auxiliary verb. Okay. Yes, no question begins from auxiliary verb. And WH question begins from WH word. You again have something in the mind. What is this auxiliary verb? Last time we discussed, there are 24 auxiliary verb starting from is MR, was, were, to, did, does, have, as, at, can, could, may, might, shall, should, will, would, must, need to, are to, dare to, used to. These are the only 24 auxiliary verb in English. Okay, your teacher might have taught you this a lot of time. It's very basic because we have to learn this from very junior grades, but still it has a great use in it. So yes, no question begins from auxiliary verb, right? Can I know your name? Are you okay? Will you come to my home? These all are yes, no questions. And the answer of the yes no question comes either in yes or no. Therefore, it is yes no question. And WH question has a WH word in the beginning, like the word what, when, where, how, who, why, right? These are uh, WH questions. You the team let's in the like mark the type, man. Whether that is yes, no question or WH question, you will easily know that. Second clue, check it. Let the WH word be the same. If the question is a WH question, then WH word J cha, keep it same. Simple. Okay. WH word J cha, te. What is there? Let it be what. Where is there? Let it be where. When is there? Let it be when. Who is there? Let it be who. Don't bother. WH words are one is true. WH nahi chordine. Now come to the more important learning there. Replace do, did, does with appropriate be verb. You are learning importance, huh? Aba question ko do, did, does vane jun auxiliary verb aosa. This lie saying appropriate be verb replace karne. Aba fairy I'm be verb zanu padu. Simple present is MR, simple past was were, past participle been, present participle being. You have them zanu per se. In the first day, I think we discussed this. La. Third clue is replace um, do, did, does with appropriate be verb. And have a look at this. 
Did you keep the ball? You is a subject. The ball is the object. Verb kasa? Keep is the verb. Yeah, understand. Keep is the verb. अब इसमें जानू पढ़ने को रहा चाहिए यो कीप पढ़ने वर्ब कौन फॉर्म में था कि ना कि हमने बी वर्ब प्रयोग करने पर सा बी वर्ब का सरी प्रयोग करने वे यूज बी वर्ब अकॉर्डिंग तू द फॉर्म ऑफ मेन वर्ब राइट इफ यू रिमेम्बर वे वे डिस्कस दिस इन आवर फर्स्ट क्लास बी वर्ब लाइज है मेन वर्ब जून फॉर्म यो कौन फॉर्म में सवा बन रहा है ये तापटी है अनुपर सा है नुस्ता यो क्वेश्चन डीड बाटा शुरू भागु सा अने डीड बाटा शुरू भाई पची व्हाट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इज दिस मेन वर्ब इज इन वर्ब टू फॉर्म इट इज इन द सिंपल पास्ट व्हाई बिकॉज़ हेर इज डीड दिस डीड सेज दिस मेन वर्ब इज इन सिं if this is in the simple past form, you verb too much have any. Be verb ke unza was or were. Let's try it. You have a budget. Let's try it. So the first thing we do, we bring the object right in the subject and we take the subject in the object. Let's begin. Question key but a survival deed but a survival deed kun for massa pop to massa and it be Bob Bob to go. What is the verb two of be verb? Was and were. It's like do it daily. Hey, was or were. Now bring the object. Was were the ball. And now this is the be verb you have used. Now you can change this keep into verb three. Kept. Was were the ball kept. And subject goes after by by you. So was were the ball kept by you. This is how we made passive. अब इस लाइन पर निचेंज करने पर सर, was बने को ये उटा संग वोर बने को more than two or more than two. The ball is one ball. Therefore, the correct passive of the question is was the ball kept by you? This is how we do it. One more example to the next slide and then the question to you. Okay? More examples here. Now see. You see WH question go, hey, why does he call you? Check it. Why does he call you? Tips number one, like you know, edi WH question chha bane, WH word like say, just tak with us, do not change that. Don't do anything with it. This is the WH question. This is the subject. You is the object. Now how do you, where is the main verb? Um, here is the main verb. Call is the main verb. Now, second option, identify the verb. Kun famasa call. Call is in verb five. You bhaap pai masa. Kosari. Kinevane. There is does before it. Yeah, does akosa. Does I pussy. You see bhaap pai masa. One of the booze numbers. Call is in verb five. Now, use the be verb uh, of the same verb. If the main verb is in verb five, then the verb five of be verb is is, aim, and are. Right? Let's do it then. I'm like be verb pani tha sa. Ani wh word like kya karne bani pani tha bhayo. Subject like agari leone. Subject like last malane. Object like surma leone pani tha bhayo. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go ahead. Now the answer is. Why? Because we didn't change that. Why is it? Why is it? Why is it? Why is it? Now, R is the main verb is in verb 5. I'm sorry. Main verb is in verb 5. B verb is is, am, R. And is, am, R is in verb 5. We don't use am with you, is with you. So, I used here R. Why are you? Where does this you come from? Object becomes subject. Why are you? Now I can change that into verb three. Called by he becomes him. Why are you called by him? This is the passive of the question. Okay. Um, now there is the question coming up in your next slide, dear people. This might be a last question that you tackle for today. And there we go. La, try Garnusta. Who taught you French? Okay. Who taught you French? 
It is a little difficult question, but I'm sure some of you can well handle it. Try this. Who taught you French? Everyone, this is a last question to you. So keep responding. Keep responding, please. First, identify whether this is yes, no question or WH question. If you find this is a WH question, then do not do anything with WH word. Let it be there. Just identify the main verb. Identify the main verb and use the B verb accordingly. Things are done. Simple. Uh, I'll wait for a few more seconds until I uh, saw the responses. Please kindly write down your names as well. Okay, let's go ahead. And here it comes. Okay, by home were you taught French? Absolutely. Who's this person starting from D? By whom was you taught French? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, yeah, complete that name, please. This is Dakshata. Okay, Dakshata, I got it. Thank you very, very much. And Jyoti, there's a small error in your answer. By whom was you taught French? You doesn't take was in the first place, a small syntax error. By whom were you taught French? Sristi has wonderful answer, but she has missed a question mark at the end. And who were you, were you taught French by? <laughs> wow. Um, thank you very much, Sristi. You're very fantastic. Fantastic indeed. By whom were you taught French? This is a great answer. No, no person there. By the way, by whom were you taught French? Yeah, good. This is the great answer. This is um, by whom you learned French from. No, <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is not the answer. Uh, thank you for trying it that way anyway. Um, by whom were you taught French? Fantastic. Trishna, French taught to you by home. Wow, this is it, another structural change. Uh, Trishna, I would suggest you to bring uh, by home in the beginning. Okay, um, Anish Raj Prajapati, and he does it so well. Thank you, Anish. Uh, Rina, uh, by home was French taught to you. Wow, it, another fantastic answer. Rina, thank you. Very, very good. Okay, because he took the direct object there. Great answers. French was taught to you by whom? Uh, this needs a structural change. By whom were you taught French? Great. Uh, <laughs> okay, here is another answer. By whom were you taught English? It wasn't asked. Karina, uh, this is a great answer. By whom were you taught French? Good. Okay, so it seems like, okay, here is Prajol and he writes, by whom were you taught French? Thank you, Prajol. That's very great answer. Uh, this is not correct. Mr. Radon, by whom you were, uh, this is wrong. Sonia, uh, this is wrong. Bishal, by whom? Yes, Bishal, this is it. Uh, French was taught to you by whom? Mm -hmm, this is wrong. Arjun, by whom French was? Okay, well done. Well tried, Arjun. Um, okay, so uh, this is all, uh, dear people. Thank you very, very much for uh, making those attempts. I have come to the end for today. This is the end. We have another class would be of a free writing, most probably. I would like to give you some concepts I know on how to write a good paragraph would be our next uh, uh, bridge course sessions. So till then, you may uh, really have a great time. The floor is open if you have some questions. Sagar, sir, over to you again. Uh, 
Uh, Sagar, sir, over to you. Do you hear this? Yeah, sir, absolutely, clearly. Thank you very much for a wonderful session. So uh, let's stop the live of English class. Thank you very much for a wonderful presentation, sir. And uh, let me stop uh, the recording also. Thank you very much for... Okay. Mani, sir, I, I, I did not know that... Um... Yeah. Please. Sagar, sir. Yes, sir. Can I, you... I didn't know that any animation doesn't work in uh, Peer Deck. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is, sometimes it, it works, sir. Sometimes it doesn't work. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for a wonderful session.